now I am ready to record. So I'm going to hold up my picture and I'm going to press the record button twice and look at my little thing. Okay, now because it's my picture, I might not want to put my face in. So I'm just kind of holding that up for a minute. If I want to tell a little story about it, why I chose the colors I chose, I could talk about it or I could just let it be my picture. That's your creative choice as the artist. Okay, when I'm ready to stop, I'm going to click stop down here. Okay, now it's gonna load up my video, so I'm gonna wait patiently for it to pull up my recorder, my, uh, my unicorn. Okay, so there it is. Now, I can't hear my voice. The reason why is because it's muted right now. So I'm gonna click unmute. Those the colors I chose, I can talk about hey, it Hey, there's my video. Okay. I could just let it be my picture. So I'm pretty That's happy with this. All right, um, now what I want to do is give it a title. Now we've talked about this. You don't want, if you leave this as it is, it's going to be stuck this way. And when you go to look for this particular picture, you're going to get lost in a sea of untitled projects. So we want to give this a name because it's special. So um, what we're going to do is just be simple about it. You're going to name it unicorn. Whatever picture you drew, is what you're gonna name it. So I drew my unicorn. I pressed the enter button so that way, it, that way it would go back to a solid color here. So unicorn, if I don't like that name and maybe actually I didn't draw a unicorn, I drew a sheep or whatever else is in your assignment, then you can go back and edit it if you need to, okay? But once you're sure you want that title, press enter. There's that, okay? So now, how are you going to share this with me in the class? This is how you're going to do it. You are going to come to the little hamburger. You see this little hamburger? You're going to click this and you're going to go to my recordings. And then you're going to double click on the unicorn. Oops, no, actually go back to my recordings. You're not going to click on the unicorn because it's going to take you back. That was a trick. This is what you're going to do. You're going to actually go over to these three little dots here and you are going to press there. And you're going to go open in Drive. Okay, we're going to patiently wait for it to load up. All right, so you're going to go to open in Drive. Now, I have all kinds of random things in this folder. However, am I going to find all the files that I made in Screencastify? Well, here, what we're going to do first is we're going to organize this. Okay, so I want you to just take a minute and pause this video and go back to the Screencastify and make sure that you can get this open. Okay, so do the steps that I just did. So what you're gonna do is pause your video, you're gonna go back to Screencastify, you're gonna press these three dots, and you're gonna open it in Drive, and it will take you to the Screencastify folder. So, go ahead, pause, and make sure you're on this page. All right, so you should be on this page, and if you really look for it, you should be able to see your file, Unicorn. Now what we're gonna do is organize this. So um, I'm gonna make a special folder just for all the things that I've drawn. Now, of course, if you're not in the drawing group, you're in the singing group, or you're in the beat making group, or the graphic design group, this all applies, okay? So now, um, what I'm gonna do is I wanna make a folder, a place for all of my drawings to go. So I'm gonna go click New. Now this is very important, make sure you're paying attention to this part. I'm gonna click Folder, and I'm gonna title the folder Drawing. Or if you're in the singing group, Singing. If you're in the dance group, Dancing. Okay, and I'm gonna click Create. Pause this video and make your folder. If you need to rewind, you can do that as well. Pause the video and make your folder. Okay, so now we're back. 
All right, so now I've got my drawing folder and my drawing here. So what I'm gonna do is click on my drawing and I'm gonna drag it into the drawing folder. Now I know it's going into the folder because this is highlighted blue. If this highlights blue, I'm putting it in the wrong folder. So make sure it goes to the drawing folder. <gasps> it disappeared and it says it has been moved to drawing. Okay, so now if I double click drawing, I see that it's there. Pause this video and go ahead and drag your file, whether it's the unicorn, whether you drew something else, or whether it's your singing file or your dancing file, whatever video you made, draw it into that folder and you should be on a page that looks like this. Okay, now, so what we're gonna do next is we want to now share this lovely little drawing with the class because you made something beautiful and we're gonna share it with our class. So now what you wanna do is go back to your class. Okay. Now, if you don't have your class pulled up, you can pause this video for a minute and get your, your class pulled up. Okay, so here I am in the class. Now, I'm gonna share this on the class stream so that everyone can see it. All right, now if you're really, really shy about um, letting people see your work or you don't feel comfortable, what you can do is you can click where it says all students. If you don't want every single person in the class to see it, um, you can unclick this and maybe just choose a couple people that you want to see it. Maybe if you feel comfortable with maybe just two friends seeing it instead of everybody. That's an option, but unless you're really shy about it, I want you to share it with everybody so we can all be included and see your beautiful work. Okay, so now what you're going to do is click here, okay, and you're going to go add. So go ahead and click add, and you're going to go from Google Drive, right? Because we just came from Google Drive, we made our fancy folder for our drawings, okay? So I'm going to click Google Drive, and I'm going to go, hey, check sure, this out. Sure, but your phone needs to be unlocked for that. <laughs> Google's talking to me right now. I think it wants to say hello to you guys. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so we're gonna go to um, where it says unicorn, right? This is what we just made. All right, so I'm gonna click it, my unicorn file. I'm gonna click add, and I'm gonna say here's my unicorn. Okay, so, um, and then I'm gonna click post. And let's see how it does. Okay, so now it has popped up, all right? Now pause this video and please post your, your Screencastify video or picture, whatever you have, and I want you to add it and post it. Okay, good, we're back. So now what you should do now once you've posted it, check and see if it plays. So any student can come in and let's see, let's see. I'm gonna be patient while it loads. It's my little thing. Okay, now because it's my picture, I might not want to put my face in. Look at that! Isn't that cool, guys? Okay, so that's that. All right. So then you can just close that out and then go back to the class. And what I want you to do um, is go on. Um, once you've posted yours, like your video. Um, I want you to look around and I want you to watch other people's videos and I want you to say a positive comment. Okay, like, wow, great job. You see that? So I see, I'll watch the video and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna post something nice. Now, remember, we're being good digital citizens. We do not want to say negative or rude things about the videos. If we are saying rude things, I have no choice but to come in, delete your comment, and take some points off of your grade, okay? So, and maybe even revoke your privileges, all right? So, 
anyway, but this is kind of what we're doing, okay? Now, one last thing. Say you have made your post and you're like, oh, I don't like that video. Like, everybody did a better quality picture than me. Um, I want to make a better quality video with the same project. Well, what you can do is delete this. Delete it. So that way you can go back and if you want to post a better quality video, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so please, please message me through Google Classroom. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you. I know that this digital learning is a little tricky, but we're all going to work together and get it. Okay, so I'm looking forward to seeing your videos posted in your classroom. All right. Well, this is Mrs. Castro signing off.